and just style their hair how you like it. But this is how I style my son hair after I finish washing. Okay. I'm just gonna do the same thing. Take my gel, put it around the hair, all the way around. And this usually lasts him the whole week, like from Monday to Friday, then the following Sunday I wash it again and style it a different way. And as I said before, you want to make sure you check the rubber bands, make sure it's not too tight. Brush the hair in. Take your rubber band. Smooth the hair in. Then go in. And I rock this three times. And then let it go and pull the ends out. Then just turn them around. <laughs> You've been a good sport, huh, guys? Put them in camera and you, you just be good sport. Usually it's hell to get this done. It's usually. Turn around, baby. Turn around, baby. Don't look at the chuck. Chuck. Right here. And I usually use a tape on the part and I use my hands and just pull the hair apart. And I take my very time to make sure I don't pull this hair too hard. You know, because you don't want to hurt them. You don't want to hurt them while you're doing this. So put the comb down. As I said before, I do not detangle. Because I already detangled when I was in the shower, so I don't need to detangle anymore. Take my gel. Put it all over the hair. If they turn their head too much, just give them something to play with or some snacks or something like that. Just to make them hold their head the way you want to hold it. Because you want to make sure you do this really neat. And you want to make sure all the, the rolls you're doing are at the same level as the other one on the other side. Take your brush. Smooth that hair in. Get your rubber band. But you can't be a tighter one because the loosened ones, you tend to rock those even more because they're loose. The tighter ones is the best one to use. So I'm going to get me a tighter hand. Turn around. And just wrap it three times. Turn around, turn around. Look at the gel. Look at this, okay. And pull that ends out. Then you want to turn it back around into the middle. Now you can put my son here into a style that I like to do it in. I will show you guys that when I'm down with it, but... The bar part of his hair, I always tend to do much more finer because that's the back part and I like it to be neater. Thank you, Papa. Turn it on. He's just staring at the camera. It's hard to even like get his hair to be the way I want it to be. And his hair is really not that hard to even put a section off or part because after doing that, um, that, um, that, that, um, extra virgin olive oil and that, um, honey treatment of his hair and did it for five minutes, it's, it's really easy to like get his hair done right now. And then washing with using a moisturizer shampoo to wash his hair. Then going in with a coconut oil um shampoo conditioner. It's not that hard to actually put his hair um do it do his hair. And I usually don't comb his hair because I like the way it pulls at the front, so I usually just leave that um the way it is. And then again with gel. Put it underneath the hair. And then get you a good elastic or rubber band. Like so. And then if you feel like it's too tight, you can always go back in the hair and just pull it a little bit from this root just to make sure it's not too tight. Then just freak out the ends out how you would like it to be. Then down the bottom part now. I'm just going to part it into an egg shape. And now if you see him leave out here, you can always take your shaver and shave them just to make it a little bit neater. But I don't have to do that because I already did that with my son. So I don't have to shave him. I already did that <laughs> like a couple months ago. I need to have to go back as it, so I don't really have to go in and shave them again. And even with this, even with this, it does not mess up. It just stay the way it is, so you don't have to worry about their hair getting messed up. As I said before, I always do the back part of his ear much more finer because that's like the shortest part of his hair and that part tends to come out even more, so I do the back part of his hair um, smaller. Okay? 
Rubber band. You just take a natural rubber band into small kids' heads, but I think you can do it if you have like a kid with natural hair like mine. But just make sure you don't do it too tight and just always go back in. As I'm doing them, I'm actually going back in and pulling them from the roots. You know, just make sure they're not tight in his head. And that's it, guys. So that's it. It's all done. I hope this video was somewhat, you know, understanding and how to style of two hair will hair. And I'm just gonna go back on all the treatment that I used in this video. I used this onion, the onion, and the grated oil. It wasn't extra virgin olive oil, I'm sorry. It was the 100% grated oil. And I did that as a pre poo on his hair. I did that on for five minutes with a shower cap. Then I went in with my, uh, my she cashmere, uh, but with she most, with she protein and bon banana moisture and shampoo. I shampooed his hair once with this. Then I went in with my suave, um, shrimp color coconut conchina. And I put a lot of hair, as you can see, it's almost done. And then I detangled his hair. With this white tea comb, and I detangled from the end to the roots. And I went to make sure when I'm detangling, I hold the roots so it, it wasn't pulling at the time that I was detangling. Then I washed it out with warm water, and then I used my leave treatment, the She Moisture Thickening Glow Cream. I put a good amount in this. Then I went in with my coconut oil, just a little bit, and then I sectioned his hair off with my tail comb or ray comb. Just to part his hair, not to just not to pull the hair, use your fingers to pull the hair and be very careful when doing that. Then I style my gel and then rubber band. And this is what his hair looks like. Turn around right here. Turn around, let me see. So that's that. That's how I style his hair. It's like a triangle parting that I did. Hold your head over. There you go. That's his hair. So I need the ends out. So I'm just gonna pull this up. So you guys can see. Hold your head down, baby. So you seeing her? Okay, hold your head down. So that's it. He's looking up in there. So yeah. So that's it. That's the triangle parting that I did. So it's like one, two, just six. And he did. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. So, see, that was really easy. He did not shed tears at all. Even though he did time his hair, he did not cry at all. Right. So that's that. If you want to see more videos with my son Rahim, just don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys want to see any more videos with him and how to style his natural hair. And um, what else? If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment box and I will answer you guys. And as you guys can see, his hair is growing. It's really long. It's not showing the length. Eventually, natural hair never showed the length. But his hair is really long. As I did do a... Uh, and then check for you guys in the video before. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, any questions, leave it in the comment box. And he is two years old. So yeah, that's, let's just clear that up for a minute. And um, this is how I style his hair. Sometimes I style it up. Sometimes I braid out, twist out. I will twist it out for stuff like that. And you just don't want to be, you know, even though you do the style, you don't want it to be too girly because some people think you're a girl. Because that happens to my son most of the time, sometimes. But yeah, you know. Um, so I am going to be making more video with Raheem. Just to let you guys see how his hair is coming along. And stuff like that. Um, we're not planning on cutting his hair no time soon. Um, you don't like scissors. Um, 